What's going on, guys? Flash, episode four of season three. Oh, let's do it. Then we're gonna talk about some of the things that I really, really enjoyed in this episode, starting with the search for the new Harrison Wells. So as Harry was saying, he's going back to Earth 2, so he's not gonna be living there on Earth 1. Uh, so they need to find a new Harrison Wells. And they're like, man, you know, you should just stay here. And he's like, no, like I gotta go back home. But we could send out kind of like a test to the multiverse and select a new Harrison Wells. Uh, the new guy's name is HR, by the way, which is really dope. But um, the process was so funny, just going through the different versions of him in different um, univer uh, different universes. It was, it was awesome. It was so dope. So uh, that was probably the first thing that I really, really enjoyed about this episode. Now, the other thing that I really, really liked was kind of the transition of Barry being like the student, now the teacher. Uh, and he even said like, man, I, now I'm Oliver. Like, it's just cool to kind of have him now mentor Jessie Quick in her speedster ability, becoming a superhero. Uh, and I, I love that transition, especially the first sequence that we see them training in. And he's explained to her like, hey, like, You've been running around this thing this whole time. Like you need to observe your surroundings. That way when things start coming up and we start moving faster, you can then anticipate what things are gonna go down. And you see later on in the episode that she makes up for her mistakes that she kind of created for the team, uh, but she's a really uh, quick learner. So really dope and I love her character. Her and Wally, they have a really good chemistry. Um, I didn't really care for some of the stuff like with Spivet and Barry. But this, to me, I feel like they have a good chemistry, and I'm glad that Wally's off this whole I want to be a speedster crybaby thing. Uh, I, I have a very strong feeling he'll get his abilities later, but I'm glad that he's kind of off of that for now. Now, this week's villain, Mirror Master, was actually really cool. Um, I think the best part about it, though, was the naming process. Harrison Wells beats Cisco to the name, and then they try to do the same thing for Top, and he's like, oh, Top! Like, it was just really funny how they play off each other. And I feel like Tom Cavanaugh just, and Cisco have a really good chemistry on camera, no matter what characters they play. They're just very good as far as their chemistry goes. So shout out to Tom, how at your boy. But yeah, it was just really, I love their chemistry. But um, as far as Mirror Master goes, his, his, his skill set was dope. Um, it just, it didn't really explain why he was stuck in a mirror for three years, why everybody else had the ability to get to their stuff. Um, and, and he didn't, he didn't have access to it. Was it because he didn't realize he was in a mirror? Like, I don't, they didn't really explain that very well, but let me know if you guys have any theories on why he was stuck in there for three years. Uh, even though it seemed like to him, it was one day, but I'm just confused on how that came to be. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any theories on that. Now, once Barry got trapped in the mirror, this is where things started to unravel for Caitlin and her ability. So they tried to figure out how to get Barry out of the mirror Come to find out, they need to freeze the mirror. And I knew that was gonna play into it once they said something about that. I was like, it's either gonna be something to do with Captain Cold or something to do with um, with uh, Caitlyn's ability. So I was just really curious on how they were gonna play it off. Um, she sneaks in, obviously, after the metahuman alarm goes off, freezes it up, Barry breaks out. Um, and then you find out later in the episode that, you know, after Harrison had did some, ant you know, analyze the situation afterwards he had told Cisco like hey by the way the you know the device that we created didn't work so you know and he was like well who did it he was like who do you think and just kind of like pieced it together um obviously not pointing any fingers but just kind of like uh there was only other somebody else in there so figure it out so I liked how they kind of left it up for just kind of um thought so I like that and then obviously at the end of the episode we see her in the shower um, and you know, the whole killer frosting is coming. Now, we don't know if she's going to keep her abilities and be still on Team Flash, if she's gonna freak out and go bad. We don't know what this looks like, um, unless anybody has any synopsis stuff for, you know, for future episodes, things like that. I'm gonna try to stay away from that. So don't send me any information about that if you guys know, and if you do, please keep in mind that people in the, in the comment section may not wanna be spoiled, so try to keep those things to yourself. Um, other than that, though, I loved this episode. This episode was great. The whole banter between Barry and Joe West about, you know, being uncomfortable uh, with the whole Iris relationship. I thought that was fun. Um, so I, I really liked this episode. It wasn't mind-blowing, um, but it was really cool. And there's hints and more hints at Leonard Snart. Um, so I'm really, 
really curious to see how they reintroduce him into the series. Obviously, we see flashbacks of him that were obviously filmed for the season, so we know he's coming back, but I wonder how they're going to reintroduce him. Um, so let me know in the comment section what your guys' theories are on Captain Cold, how he's going to make his big return. Is he going to be very evil? I hope he is. I hope he's a part of the whole um, Legion of Doom on Legends of Tomorrow. I hope all that pans out. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this episode, episode four of season three. Um, if you guys like this recap, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're going to want to do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Or if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button. And if you're on Snapchat, follow your boy at Adonis Xavier. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.